Hi everyone, we meet again with me, Nani Marlina. Today I'm going to continue talking about 10 quick ways to analyze children's book. In previous videos, I've already talked about the first, second, and yeah, first and second ways. First, checking the illustration, to checking the storyline. Now I'm going to continue it with uh, several ways. They are uh, looking at the lifestyles in the story and then Waking at the relationships between people in the story and noted the heroes in the story. Well, let's talk about one by one. Um, looking at the lifestyles in the story. To find the lifestyle in the story uh, or to check the, value, uh, the lifestyle in the story, you can start with these questions. Are minority persons and their setting depicted in such a way that they contrast unfavorably with the unstated norm of white middle class suburbia? If the minority group in question is depicted as different or negative value judgment implied? Are minorities depicted exclusively in ghettos, barriers, or migrant camps? If the illustrations and, and text attempt to depict another culture, do they go beyond offer simplifications after genuine insight into another lifestyle. Look for inaccuracy and inappropriateness in the depiction of other cultures. Watch for instances of the quaint natives in costume syndrome, most noticeable in areas like clothing and custom, but extending to behavior and personality traits as well. Okay, and the next way to evaluate uh, the books from the racism and sexism perspective is that by weighing the relationship between people, you start with this question. Do the whites in the stories possess the power, take the leadership and make the important decisions? Do racial minorities and females of all races function is essentially supporting roles only? And how are family relationship depicted in this story? In black families, is the mother always dominant in Hispanic families? Are there always lots of children? If the family is separated or societal conditions, unemployment, poverty, for example, cited among the reasons for the separation, you should consider that question to evaluate. And the next way is by noting heroes. For many years, books showed only safe minority heroes those who avoided serious conflict with the white establishment of the time. Minority groups today are insisting on the right to define their own heroes of both sexes based on their own concepts and struggles for justice. When minorities have heroes do appear, are they admired for the same qualities that have made white heroes famous or because what they have done has benefited white people? Ask this question, whose interest is a particular hero really serving? Okay, so, so far there are uh, five ways to evaluate uh, the children's children books for racism and sexism issue. I repeat, number one, check the illustration. Number two, check the storyline. Number three, look at the lifestyle. Number four, wait the relationships between people and five you know the heroes i think that's all for this occasion and for the next video the, the last video about this i'm going to continue talking about the next four ways to evaluate children's book so please come uh, soon to this channel and i'll continue talking about it thank you for watching see you soon have a great time